this is a special video, uh, a request, well, it was supposed to be between just the Squid Sisters and a couple Genshin Impact characters, but when I typed in Genshin, all that came up was six pages, and the characters that the person wanted were not there. So, it's just between, like, the, all the Squid Sisters that I, uh, well, the Squid Girls that I do have, and a lot of other Nintendo Girls. So, sorry to the person that I could not find the, um, the Genshin girls that you wanted. But there was, like, only, like, like I said, six pages of downloading for Genshin characters, and the girls you wanted were not there. Someone has not, no one has made them yet, so I couldn't download them. So yes, yeah, since we are in December, when I do these matches, we're using the Christmas, or, Merry Christmas arenas. Because it's Merry Christmas, not not Xmas, not Happy Holidays. It's Merry Christmas. There's obviously a lot of pride for her that comes with holding both these championships. You know what they say, though, Cole. Pride comes before the fall. We are looking at one of the greatest competitors in women's division history, and there's your proof. She is tough, she is determined, and she is standing tall at the top of WWE. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Seems to me, guys, like she's incredibly proud of what she's been able to accomplish as of late. She should be proud, Michael. It's not easy to do what she's been able to do, but she also has to be careful not to become complacent. Tell me what that means. What does complacent mean? I'm even saying that right. He says that a lot. But what does that mean? Remember, guys, the title's on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. I thought them two had titles. The last two that just came out, I thought they had titles. Hey, 
representing the Chick Magnet from Japan. One half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, the Queen It's Lena, Rosalina. A huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. the champ was in this much jeopardy Cole tonight might just be the night the title changes hands earlier today guys she told me just how proud she is of what she's done in the ring as of late but if I know her Michael she's not even close to being satisfied you can bet she has plenty more she wants to do over the course of her career The double, the double champion, champion is here, is here flashing, flashing her gold, gold collection. collection. And, and representing the Chick Magnet from Brooklyn, New York, one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champion and the World Champion, the this is a grand entrance for a woman who's made history. She carries the weight of two championships. She is absolutely at the top of the women's division, and she's carrying the two championships to prove it. The WWE Universe is still buzzing about the double champ. I can't, I can't say I blame them. Hey, it's not easy carrying two championships everywhere you go. How do you do it, Byron? You're both the baldest and the lamest. Oh, stop, Corey. That's not funny at all. and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. Expect chaos in this match. Eight superstar dies to see which one is the best. It's going to be even very unpredictable. Sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net and no disqualification match. That's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. That's one of my all time favorites. Not even close. Oh, this is unique. Oh, man, what a counter. Quick escape. Oh, my God. 
Lock applied. Other arm track. Down on the arm. Beautiful. That'll turn your lights out. I said that out loud. I'm thinking, I'm trying to... I have... I'm sure you all know. Cart, your cartoons, I'm sure you know. Avatar The Last Airbender. I have this... He's still in the box. I bought uh, from Hobby Lobby. It's a decent sized statue of Aang from Avatar The Last Airbender. Not the movie, the cartoon. I haven't not yet seen that movie, um, but it's a decent size statue, and I was trying to think what it was, but I think I see it now. But I have stuff in front of it, so I was like, where is it? Because I collect a lot of different things, like from Avatar Life and Airbender, and, and like, but mostly, like, I'm DC Comic, rural he's DC Comic man, so I'm like Batman, all anything Justice League, stuff like that. Go through, you know. But. And I figured when I bet when I accidentally said that out loud, I better. <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm recording in my station. I'm not even tired. I'm not even tired. I'm yawning. Oh my goodness, you do.
second wing. He keeps heading out even more. He knows exactly what's at stake at this moment. She wants to put it into things here. Face first with a waist lock takedown. But I was hoping one of them that didn't have a title would win it. Getting the gold tonight, and she's done just that.